Good morning and welcome to another edition of A Moment of the Word. Today is 25 July 2023 and there will never be a 25 July 2023 ever again. And Lord willing, there'll be a 25 July 2024. But who knows? But the Lord. The Lord knows. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm not live today. I'm I'm unable to be here live, but I wanted to record this to... Get this out to you by by 11 this early in the morning on this tuesday morning i got bells and dings ringing all over the place so if you hear noise um it's uncontrollable <laughs> and please and please forgive that let's get straight to the meat of the matter okay the title today is when your faith needs strengthening and the text is going to be in genesis 15 1 through 6. and before we get started here you know let, let's talk about that a little bit Sometimes we need to strengthen our faith. You know, yes, we're, we're, we're faithful, but sometimes in our human weakness, we, we, we tend to steer, steer away. And we're, what we're going to talk about here today, about Abram, Abraham, we're, we're going to talk about his faithfulness and how we should be looking to the Lord and everything. Well, I do not have a card today. I normally have the, the scripture uh, on front. But I have six verses today. Again, I'm in Genesis 15, 1 through 6. And I'm going to go ahead and read that, and then we're, we're going to discuss it, okay? And uh, we're in verse, uh, chapter 15, verse 1. It talks about Abram, the, the, the promised son. He's promised a son. All right, here we go. Verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to the Abraham, Abram in a vision, saying, Do not fear, Abram. I am a shield to you. Your reward shall be very great. Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me, since I am childless and heir of my house in Elzer and Damascus? And Abram said, Since you have given me offspring, no offspring to me, one born of my house is my heir. Then behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This man will not be your heir, but the one who will come forth from your own body, he shall be your heir. And he took him outside and said, Now look toward the heavens. And count the stars, if you are able to count them. And he said to them, So shall your descendants be. Verse 6. And he believed in the Lord, and he reckoned it to them, to him, as righteousness. I can't read this morning. All right, so let's let's discuss this a little bit. Okay. Um, Abram, he's promised a son, right? Um, And let's see. And we're going to see how faithful he is listening, listening to the Lord, you know, and, and the key verse is, you know, in, in six, then Abraham believed the Lord and he reckoned him to, to his righteousness. Um, you know, he goes on, then he believed in the Lord and he reckoned to him his righteousness. That means he, he credited to him as his righteousness. Abraham believed the Lord and he credited them in, in his righteousness, you know. Abraham, we hear, uh, we hear before, you know, he's, he's called, uh, was it the, the father of faith? Okay. Abram believed God. And again, he reckoned it to him as his righteousness. He credited him. He knew that it was his, God was his righteousness. All right. Abram, you know, was it, was he, um, um, a holy person, never did anything wrong? No, 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 no. He was a pagan man. Uh, he lived in a, a land that was very, very uh, um, pagan, paganistic, uh, heathens, um, living in a horrible society. You know, where all, everybody had idols and all kinds of stuff going on. But God called him during that time, and later on, or earlier, we read in, in chapter twelve, as you as you could read in chapter twelve, that he immediately left his home and all his family. And set out to a land where the Lord would show him, where God not only would bless him, but that through him all the families of the earth would be blessed. You remember that song, Father Abraham? Father Abraham had many sons, many sons, oh, Father Abraham. And it goes on and on. And, and, and so at the age of 75, Abram, now get this, age of 75, Abram set out on his journey of faith towards the promised land. You know, do we listen to the Lord? Are we 
to listen to where we where he, where he wants us to be, what we need to do. We need to, we need to. Um, Abram did it at seventy five. You know, he he set out. He goes, all right, Lord, um, I'm, I'm going to trust you. He had to take us to the promised land. But Abram believed God, and he was obedient, and and he recognized him again as his righteousness. And over over the course of the journey, uh, God reassured him many many times of the faithfulness over the next you know 15 years or so and he experienced God's protective hand where God had blessed him you know as he as he passed through the land that God promised to give to him and his descendants now that's a long time 15 years is a long time Abraham waited for the birth of the son that the Lord had promised now the Lord had promised this right and one day the Lord appeared to him in a vision as we as we see here in verse or 15 verse uh one you know uh where, where you know and he told him stop being afraid you know stop worrying i am the lord your god and and and, and gave him an assurance with a promise i am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward you know do not fear abram i am a shield to you your reward shall be can't read this morning shall be very great you know so there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of faithfulness there, you know. When God is assuring him. Now, God assure, assures us through His Word that He is with us every step of the way. We, we need, we need to trust Him, not, not, not just merely just go on our own thoughts and, and, and ways. Okay, the the Lord knows our heart. The Lord knows our thoughts. He knows everything because He is the Lord. But He also knew. The thoughts of Abraham and Abraham had become very fearful that the promised seed through whom all families of the earth will be blessed had been born and God spoke to his to his to him you know saying you know basically stop being afraid stop being afraid and he reminded Abraham that he was a shield exceeding this great reward and we we need to listen to the Lord when he and he tells us in his word he, he's going to take care of us. That's why we got to be faithful. Okay, we must be faithful. But God promised him a son, and Abram produced a child of the flesh through through Hagar. Hagar was a, the, the Egyptian, but the Lord had much to teach his servant. Okay, how much to teach her? Just like us, <laughs> we have a, a the Lord is teaching us stuff as we live through our life. But despite being justified in the eyes of God. All right. Uh, because of his faith, he left his home and family and set out for the promised land. Please excuse all the beeps and bells and whistles. But the the Lord sought out to develop him, to, to deepen him, to expand his horizons, to and to um, um, give him assurance so his faith would be abound. Okay. So Abraham realized that the Lord alone could supply all his needs, just like us. It's the Lord who supplies our needs, what we need, okay? Not necessarily what we want, you know, but it definitely supplies our needs. And like us, Abram was justified when he first believed the word of God. But like like us, his faith needed to grow, needed to mature, and it's, it takes time, and it's different for every believer. It takes time. It's a gradual, you, you never stop, okay, growing and, and maturing in the faith. And how do we do that? By being faithful in the word, being faithful, talking to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, we, we, we talk about the doctrine of justification by great faith. Uh, you know, that that's the, the meat, you know, of the Christian faith. You know, uh, I loved it when, when Luther realized that through faith, you know, and uh, but we, need, we need to trust his word and believe his word. And believe the, the 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 truths that are in this word, and 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 that's what Abraham Abram did. You know, he he believed in 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 the Lord, and he believed in the truth because um, right through there he believed that the Lord reckoned him into his righteousness. He credited him to, to his, his righteousness. And um, again, that's that's what we need to do. We we need to do this here. You know, even when we don't feel like it, we need to trust. It's easier said than done. It is. 
but the more you're in his word, the more you're, you're meditating, the more you're seeking God's will and guidance, the more you, you will see that. And we, we must remain faithful in that. Okay. You know, it, it's all laid out in his word right here, but have been born again, about Abraham, and, and, and he was credited with his righteousness, with Christ's righteousness, it will never be withdrawn, as was the case of Abram. And like him, we are to live the rest of our lives, the rest of our days, by faith. You know, we need to have confidence we, uh, of his power, of his faithfulness, to, to carry out all that he has purposed us, okay, and what he has promised. And that's what Abraham is realizing. You know, God promises, you know, and he, he, he realized that, you know, I need to rely on his word, not on his own understanding and the, us. We don't need to rely on our understanding, uh, our own merits. You know, there's nothing that we could do, you know, but we need to rest in his word. We need to rest in God's word. You know, God's true, infallible word. Every word in here is true because it's God's word. But Abram had to learn, you know, you know, you know, there, there's, there's, there's a false righteousness. You know, we, when, when we, we could do everything on our own, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'll, I'll put a little bit of God in there somewhere, you know, no, you know, but there's also another righteousness where we consider the Lord to be the source of everything, everything. God says we are like filthy rags in the eyes of God. Um, you know, who alone is righteous, you know, and that, that is God in him alone and we need to rest in him alone okay to have that true righteousness don't don't look at yourself and well i'm handling this okay i'm fine i'm not doing okay I'll, I'll sprinkle a little bit of god here a little bit of that there but don't don't do that be careful about that you know we need to live by faith just like abraham did and it was only by his grace through faith um and his promise word that abraham was reckoned to be righteousness to, to be righteous and the same goes for us who believes in God's word, who lives by God's word, who trusts in his promises. All right. Way too often our faith in God falters because we set our eyes and 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 life challenges on what we think or how we think we should do when we should be relying on God. And I make myself clear we need to be faithful. We need to trust him, okay? You know. God deals with us. He He takes care of us. He has His mighty hand over us, and we need we need to trust that. Quit trying to figure out stuff on your own. The Bible is a handbook. The Bible is a handbook here. You know, no matter where we fail Him, you know, God is there correcting us. He's developing us, and with that, our faith deepens in Him. Okay, just like Abraham, we eventually realize that He alone can supply our needs according to his grace, not our stuff, not our works, okay? But we finally read in Scripture that Abraham was not weak in the faith. He staggered not at the promise. He was strong in faith. He was fully persuaded, as we see right here in, in God's Word. So, this is supposed to be a five-minute thing today, but I kept talking. My prayer for you is, you know, that you, that we all, including me, keep the faith, keep trusting in him, okay? We, we have been covered in his righteousness. You know, God knew you before the foundation of the world, all right? And I pray that we will, again, look, for, look to him as God works in our lives. You know, he gives us faith, just, just like the faith of Abram. You know, and help us not stagger in his promises. You know, we, we need to trust in his word. Be faithful. We must be faithful. Amen. You know, there's there's nothing like it. There's there's nothing like trusting in the Lord and following him. It's easier said than done. I know it is. But folks, know this. You can put your trust and faith in him. If you have not put your trust and faith in him, I'm going to encourage you to do that today. If you're faltered in your faith, if you're, you know, you need to revisit, Lord, forgive my unfaithfulness. 
you're you're the Lord our God. We we need to we need to trust you. You know, do that, and 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 God will see that. God knows anyway. God knows our heart. Like I said in the beginning, you know, just keep looking to, to the Lord God, guys. We need to look to the Lord our God. We need to 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 trust in Him, and don't trust on our own. Well, I'm going to go because I'm going to be here forever talking to you about this. You know, um, I love talking about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, again, my prayer for you, if, if anyone has not called out to the Lord, I pray that you do that. We're, we're commanded to come to him. And I pray that you do that for today is, is the day of salvation. And, uh, and and folks, if anybody out there ever have any kind of any question, any spiritual question, any matter, special matter, a prayer request or whatever, just contact me right here. This email address, uh, email address right here, a moment of the word, 1689 at gmail.com. Um, and or I have a Facebook group page titled A Moment in the Word, A Moment in the Word, Romans eleven thirty six. You can send me a message that way, too. That's where I put all kinds of updates and whatnot on there. So uh, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. Uh, Lord, help us to remain faithful in you. Uh, forgive us where we fail you. Um, Lord, help us just to look into your ways, how you want us to live, any decision that we make. Lord, let it be pleasing to you. Help us not to make any decisions without without consulting you in, in prayer. Help us pray that all in prayer. Lord, I pray for all those who are sick or afflicted in any way, shape, or form, that you uh, be with them today, health, financial, whatever is going on, Lord. We just ask that you just be with them. And uh, thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, folks, uh, I plan to be live tomorrow at 11 o'clock, but you never know what live's going to bring you. Um, like I said, I couldn't be here today uh, live, but I'm here in recording. And um, But know that uh, that Jesus loves you, okay? God loves you, uh, and I love you, all right? So we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. You know, um, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.